Hey, is you a little whack at Dev Jam? You trying to be on the GOAT level? This the video for you, man. We got a tutorial, Dev Jam Fight for New York. The technique, skill tutorial, plus how to's. Shout out to my dog for the video, D2, ain't it? Make sure y'all check the original video out. I'm about to subscribe, show love, drop a like, you feel me? Let's get straight to the video. Before we get started, I want to know who your top three Dev Jam fighters are. I want to know your rank the Dev Jam games. And make sure you hit that subscribe and like if you're new here. We got full playlist. A lot of Def Jam, man. Go to gameplay if you're trying to learn something. Let's get straight to the video, though. Yeah, I'm an instrumental killer. I don't really need a deal. Hey, how the fuck it feel? I've been so cross since birth. They already know beats get in. Hurts, that's the appeal. You are watching a master at work. And also, before we get started, I want to let you know that the only limitations you face are those that you place upon yourself. So go get it. You know, it's, a, it's almost a new year. Keep going crazy, stay positive, and let's go get it, all right? Let's go. New York tutorial. What's good, everybody? I am here with a Dev Jam Fight for New York tutorial. And I know it's going to help out a lot of people. So let's go ahead and get into it. Chapter one, basic controls. So first off, basically the left stick moves your character around so I'm gonna have examples in the background as I speak so you know basics are basics and it's one of my favorite and songs all, you may not know but R2 switches your target and if you run and press block you will roll like so okay okay now blocking is holding down R1 RB or R which Pro advice right there playing on. and one advanced thing I can do is blocking and then transfer into reverse so boom like that Okay. Over. It's a very advanced technique. And then mm. there's also another little spin off. Of it's tough to time that, yeah. Reversing, and it's AI manipulation. But we'll get into that later. I'm just showing you that, guys, now because of blocking and reverse chain. If you can but master that. There's a lot of ways you can get up in this game. It's a you elite. Up. It's blocking and then standing up. And then there's rolling away, rolling back, and rolling towards your opponent. Next is chapter two, attacks and attack alternation. This dude might now, be elite. Combos for every single character in the game, four or three, depending on what you pick and what styles you have. And I'm just going to show you some examples of some four hit combos. Hey. Hey, hey. Okay, now you can change your attacks by holding the analog stick back or hey. forward while you strike. And now there are strong kicks holding L, B, L, what build or is this? L1. And you can also alternate those by moving the stick back or forward with your buttons. And then there's also the strong punch. But Street Fighters are only limited to one. Now this is what I was talking about with the alternation. Hey, if you hold hey. back or forward with your combos the entire way through, your combo will change. Like so. It's a cold build. Now what we the? have reversals. A lot of people ask about this, and I'm going to help you guys out. So basically, if you move the analog stick simultaneously with the block button, you'll get this. Yeah, that's the counter. Now, if you time this correctly with any type of strike, like I'm going to show you in all the series of videos, you're going to get this animation. Like, a lot of animations play, but, you know, these are the most common ones. And then, of course, there's a haymaker with this. That's martial arts and street fighter. That. Now, for grapples, if you press punch or kick right as their hands touch you, you will do these animations. Okay, okay, okay. Elite, elite, elite. Now chapter four, wake up and whiff punishes. I see no one doing these except for me. So I don't basically, know what that if is. you see your opponent do any of these wake up attacks and miss, it's your time to shine, baby. I don't know what y'all be doing, but I'm about to enlighten y'all on this, man. If they do any okay. of these, okay. these are the most common ones. I see these a lot in story mode. If they do any of these, please Boom. punish them. Go crazy. Or they will keep doing it. You got to punish them. That These makes wake sense. Wake up attacks are just asking to get punished. Like, look, oh, look and kickboxing. Talking about, like, look. That's that a setup. Kick is the worst one in the game. You don't want that one. That's a leap. And then look, I know you guys see this one all the time. Fat Joe does it a lot. Like, come yeah. on, guys. You know how to reverse grapples now. So, like so, just go ahead and just push him off up, hey. man. Don't give him that reason to. Hey, that's man, good game, y'all. Off anything, punish that too. <laughs> Everything is punishable <laughs> if they get up attack. Not everything get up attack. But anyway, chapter five. Hey, that's good not game, y'all. Get up attack is punishable. But anyway, we got next is the hidden hotspot grapples. If you're a wrestler, you can use the ropes to your advantage. Hold on, why your game say doc? 
Oh, you just named your character, Doc. That just threw me off. Like so. Now for hidden weapons. Like that Scarface brother? Point, I mean, yeah. Hunt Scrap. No, Hunt's Point Scrapyard. You will get a. What is that? A muffler? Damn. You're slamming them against a the dumpster. So. I'm just letting you guys know that that hidden weapon is there. Most of you guys already found it anyway. So that's why I put the ended his life, yo. Yeah. On One, chapter in the back. Two, three, so let's go ahead and move on to four. Bro, get up! Okay, so now in Gun Hill Garage, if you throw them on the windshield twice, ah. once, you gotta wait till they get up. And once they get up again, you take them back to the same spot and you throw them on the windshield again. Like boom, bah. and it's, this windshield weapon is gonna fall off. And you get to have fun with that. So oh wow, okay. I never yeah. even seen that before. Like that. So I'm just gonna play the clip again so you guys can see everything that I did. Did oh, y'all know that? Don't smash them on the hood because you don't you don't get any like thing from that. You have to literally like throw them on the windshield. Smashing them on the hood doesn't help anything. So you're gonna have to throw them on the windshield. And right here I go and pick up the weapon. And I Man, I'm about to be back. elite, boy. <laughs> I'm about to be a lead out here, yo. Next up, we have in the burning. <laughs> Come on, man. I forgot what it's called. Oh, Red Hook Tire and Coat. After you throw them into a pillar, a giant wood chunk oh. or whatever you want to call it will fall from the ceiling like so. Okay, but okay. You have to wait till it's done burning to pick it up. And you only get about two strikes at the most with it, so it's not really that useful. Elite, elite, say. elite. And oh, watch out for the falling debris, because I'm pretty sure, I think that's unblockable. I'm not sure. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. You guys check it out for me. So let's go ahead and pick up the wood. I ain't tool. never seen nobody get hit by no weapon eight times in a row, yo. Bow. And break. Just back to back to back to back. Next, we have Babylon, and you can take the Bow. bulb out of the socket and clock your opponent across the head with it. It's a awesome. Man, we might have to get a Next, collab with bro, man. And there's two or seven heavens. That one see, right there when you hop over See if he go crazy or not. Him into the wall. And the next one is when you grab the bottle and clock him in the head. With the really but nah, he, he as as all this research he done did, bro, and probably nice. Least, we have in the subway, when you throw your opponent into the vending machine, a half of a pipe falls off. You get to beat him down with that. And this Two, pipe has a lot of hit points. Two, three, four. Bro, the whole fight, damn. Game. Bro, hey, if you are struggling with the story mode, bro, look at this. He just got five hits out of that, bro. Well, he could get up. Next up, we have chapter six, and that's AI manipulation. I was talking about this in the beginning. And basically, a lot of people call this the block method. So oh, yeah, I do, do this. If you're having a hard time fighting somebody in story mode, really, just hold block until you see them grab you. And when they begin that grab animation, let go of block. Oh, yeah, this some finesse. Yeah, this some but finesse. But beware. Street fighters are really hard to do this with. So chapter That's how you beat Fat concept. Joe, by the way. So here I have a fight for you. Red Man is like the worst opponent in this game if you play on hard on AI. Real talk. So basically, I'm going to show you guys putting everything, not everything, but some methods you can apply to your game. But what you see me do here, you should Let's see the skills, man. Game. So basically, Let's see the skills. what I like to do, if I know my opponent is going to strike me, what I do, I Good wiggle counter. my analog stick to buffer when I press R1. So I'm wiggling it. That's why you see my character move back and forward a lot when I'm ready to reverse. That way I'm just clicking the stick back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And when I press R1, the reversal automatically comes out. You don't have to oh, that's like, oh, my timing's off. Cause it, it makes it easier. It makes it a lot easier. And I saw the, I tried the whiff punish there, but my timing was off. So it's all good. But like I said, if they jump off a wall, jump off something and try to hit you, please whiff punish that. But remember, not what up, all see, wake up see, attacks are What is he saying about the, the analog right here? I see that he's like, you know what I'm saying, bobbing, weaving, but what? Hold what up, I like bro. to do, if I know my opponent is gonna see? strike me, what I do, I wiggle my analog stick to buffer when I press R1. So I'm wiggling it. That's why you see my character move back and forth. Like oh, the whole first. time. That way I'm just clicking the stick. Elite, forward, elite, forward, elite. Forward, forward. When I press R1, the reversal automatically comes okay, out. Okay, okay. Like, oh, my timing's off. Because it, it makes it easier. It makes it a lot easier. And I saw the, I tried the whiff punish there, but my timing was off. So it was all good. But like I said, if they jump off a wall, jump off something, and try to hit you, please whiff punish that. But remember, hey. not all wake up attacks are punished. How the hell you get a special already? Are safe on whiff. Hey, um, hey, one for hey, sure hey, that's hey, hard to hey. I know for a fact. Ice T has it, Crow has it, hey. and Man has it. The little spinning breakdance move when they get up. GG. Crazy, Crazy Legs has it too. That is really hard to punch. 
bitch. And I, that is actually it. That's actually it, guys. I know it was a quick packed him up. Everything, but oh, oh, that's fine. Right here, I got some bonus Dev Jam content for y'all, man. My man, shout out to my man Kevin, cause he had put me on with some of this information this in the game, fire. like with the hidden hot spots and all that. Why they do Snoop like that, bruh? <laughs> Why they do that to Snoop Dogg face like that, dog? <laughs> Pack him up. <laughs> um, I didn't notice that in the subway, if you throw them into the vending machine, that's, the half that's pipe hard. Off. I didn't know that. I didn't know. Um, what else was it? The. Hey, shout out to bruh. Look, dig this, man. Dig this, man. If y'all watch that and y'all still trash, man, that's on y'all, man. That was a dope tutorial, you know what I'm saying? I learned something. I didn't beat the game like 20 times, you know what I mean? So if you still playing and you you struggling, bro, you can't, you know what I'm saying, play on hard difficulty and go crazy, I don't know what to tell you, bro. You need to get a pad and a pen. Write it down, take notes, practice. If you want to be Def Jam goaded, you know what I mean? But look, dig this, man. Like I said, the only limitations you face are those that you place upon yourself. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Are y'all ready for another Def Jam walkthrough? I know it's been a minute. We got to create some more people. We got to keep going crazy. So let me know what y'all want to see on the channel. Uh, we really about to run it up, grinding for this 10K. As y'all can see, we almost three-fourths of the way there. So if you made it here, make sure you subscribe, man. But dig this, man. It's your boy, Rock King of the Classics, and we back with another one, man. Shout out to bro for the dope tutorial. Hopefully y'all learned something new. And I'll link y'all to another Dev Jam video right here, man. It's your boy Rod, only found forever. And we out. Yiddy!